Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with a new video. This video is all about a CMS, a CMS which is very important in the CCTV industry. This this CMS name is Paramount CMS for PC. So in this video, we are going to discuss first what is Paramount CMS for PC, what is are its feature and functions, and then we move to our practical parts means how you download it and how you install it and finally how you configure it to make the camera live so keep watching please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one so let us start the video so the question arises what is paramount cms for pc it is an absolute masterpiece the app is designed and developed by invit tech it is a New York based company in the USA. It manufacturer medium range, it manufactures medium range CCTV product and security surveillance accessories. There are a long list of IP camera and SD cameras. Apart from it, there are many versions of DVR and NVR available in the company. You can have every accessories from CTV industry in this company. Now the CMS software which is had generated for security surveillance is a top rated. It connects many devices and makes them accessible from any remote location areas. It makes the surveillance empowering you are safer in the shelter. And the basic basically this is the uh, the native company or the or the OEM of this company is TBT. So you all know well about TBT. So uh, right now we are discussing about feature and functions. So this app is powerful enough to fix minor bugs, thus it's safe for virus threat. It can keep the backup of your data, it means you are able to fetch data from your IP device, your NVR or DVR, whatever you are using. It has sensed, it can sense many activities for your, the motion and audio can be sensed by this CMS. Whenever it senses any threat, it sends a message and raises alarm. It can connect 20 devices at a time, you can add any devices. By scanning the QR code, QR code is given in the in the network option by, and after that you should you should go you should search an ad. It is it is a really a real a real time preview of in camera cams at the time. It can take a snapshot, keep record, and play by play by videos. This app can easily operate any PTZ device on its locations. If we are talking about PTZ, then definitely it can pan it and zoom. It can show you playback at the device for at, at a time. And it is better that if you are if you are not using server, then you go for a single camera. So let's move our practical part. So what what should we do? That we just open any any Chrome browser or any browser. After that, you should search for paramount cms for pc when you press enter you find the top two links here i get i generally prefer this link so just click on this link after that it just scroll down here you find your download option for mac and c and windows definitely i am using a windows so i get i go for that just click on this When you click on this, it start downloading. Let the download going finish, then we'll discuss what, how to install, how you configure to make the camera live. Now it is downloaded. Just click on this three dot button and go to a download page. Here, this is it, your file. Just click on show in folder. Now, the first thing you should do, if you, you should extract this file, just right click on this and click extract. When you click extract, you find the folder with the same file name and now you should open this folder when you open this folder you find your 
application file or installer file or .exe file. Now right click on this exe file and click as run as administrator. Now click yes. Now click ok. Now click yes. After that you should accept that license agreement. Now click next. Again click next. Just wait for a few minutes. Once it is successfully installed, you get in notification of successful installation. Now it is successfully installed and you get the successful notification that then click exit to finish and just click this launch software so that when it click on finish it will automatically open the software. Now click login. When you click login, it asks for security question. In my case, I just take any question and you can choose according to your choice. It asks for a Record part, part, partition setting. It means it's allow you. You should you should take any drive so that it will take, it will restore recording and the snapshot over there. Click OK. Now the first thing you should do, you should find a resource management option. Here you find the resource management option. First thing you should click go for home. After that you can click resource management and then click on I. When you click on add, you find a two option quickly and manually add. If your network, if your PC and your NVR, DVR or IP camp, whatever you are adding, connected to same network, then it will show automatically here. Otherwise, you should click on manually add. Okay, so in my case, I want to connect my NVR from a remote locations. So I just click on manually add. When I click on manually add, it asks for IP address or IP range, serial number. In many in now in most cases you should select serial number for the remote location and VR. And if you don't have an static IP, then you should also go for the serial number. In my case, I have IP address so just click over there and after that I should enter my static IP now it will ask for password now click on test Here you get the successful message of test succeed, succeeded, click OK and after that click on OK. When you click on OK, 
it depend on your internet speed after a few minutes it's come online and in the model number all the software version everything shows here now you should go click on the home and click on the live view and here you find now click on device any any device here you find that your camera is live so thanks for watching please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one thank you have a nice day